اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قالت العراب و آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولیکن قولوا اسلمنا ولما یدخل الیمان فی قلوبکم وَإِن تُطِيُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ لَا يَلِتْكُمْ مِنْ نَعْمَالِكُمْ شَيْعَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ The translation is The Arabs of the desert say We believe Say You have not truly believed yet But rather say We have submitted For true faith For true faith has not yet entered your hearts But if you obey Allah and his messenger He will not detract anything from your deeds surely Allah is most forgiving merciful so the question please yes how does this verse apply to the present context <coughs> it if it applied to the context of the Rasul of Rusul time more progressively and more widely it should have applied to the times which followed because if there were, there were such munafiqeen, dissident people, who while in the company of Azul could dare to do these things, then after the time of Rasulullah the situation should have, should have worsened. And today, it applies more emphatically and more widely than this was ever applied. They say we believe, but their deeds sh show a different story altogether. Their mouths say we believe, their deeds tell the world that we are not the believers. Our actions, our conduct is completely non-Islamic. So you're right to say that this verse does apply in the present context. Rakhiva, the lady sitting next to you, is she a non ahmadi visitor? No, she is an Ahmadi lady. She is an Ahmadi lady. From? From uh, Russia. She lives here in Islam. Fun? She lives here in Islam. She is the daughter of uh, one of the Bunu brothers. Right. Welcome, sir. I understand that. Yes, please. <coughs> 